guy has an accent or he has a, you know, old voice or young voice or anything like that. But, you know, they're mainly talking about the attitude, kind of the essence of the character. And um, so, uh, as, I, as uh, Tyler was saying, I was born in New Lisbon. I lived there for 10 years, uh, which was a, a very important 10 years. I had a great time uh, with New Lisbon. For those of you that don't know, it's a small town, it's about 1,200 people. Um, my aunt and uncle had a farm right outside of town. And I spent all summer out there. I'd go out, uh, on weekends. Uh, I'd leave school, get on the school bus with the other farm kids, go out there, spend the entire weekend. My mom would come and drag me home on Sunday and hose me down and burn my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Just had the best time. But I lived in town, in New Lisbon itself. I lived up above my my grandparents with my mom and my stepdad and then later on my little brother and sister and uh, it was it was a great time my dad bill um but he was he was my stepdad but he was always my dad and uh, he was one of he was one of those real man's man man's man my old man that sort of guy and uh, he had been in world war ii in the artillery and the infantry so one day, an athlete in school, uh, he decided that he needed to teach me how to swim. I was about six at the time and hadn't bothered to learn. My mother had never taught me she, because she didn't know how to swim. And uh, in New Lisbon, we didn't have a swimming pool. Apparently they do now. I ran into a girl in Green Bay yesterday. She told me they do have a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> they still haven't got that second stoplight, but <laughs> they got that swim. But then we had a dam. The Lemonware River runs right through New Lisbon. And the water kind of damps up there at the dam and forms this nice big pond. Seemed like a vast ocean or a lake to me at the time, but you know, it's practically pond size. And uh, there's a little beach, people put their blankets down there, and that's where they go in the spring and the summer, sit around there, and that's where all the kids went swimming. So my old man takes me down there. It's funny calling him my old man because he was probably like 26 at the time, <laughs> but he took me down there. And we spent about an hour going at it, and it didn't go well. <clears throat> I was trying, but it just wasn't working out. So finally, he just took me by the hand, took me back up to where my mom was, let me off and said, I can't teach him how to swim. He's got a lead ass. <laughs> <laughs> so remember when I told you about finding the voice for the character? From then on, whenever I did that show, I heard in my ear, I can't teach him how to swim, he's got a lead ass. <laughs> for me, the essence of Red Form. He was a wonderful, he was a wonderful guy, my dad, and, and, uh, and he's a great character. And all Wisconsin. So, when I think back on times like that, when I think back on the way the world was then, the way the world is now, the way I'd like to see the world and the time that I have remaining and the way I'd like to leave the world for my kids and for my grandkids. I think about how I would want it to be and I would like there to be health care, affordable health care. My son is in his 40s, he has, a, he has a job that he likes very much, doesn't pay much money, certainly does not have any kind of health care. It would be great if we could live in a world where he could have health care and not have to worry that if he gets sick, it's going to ruin his entire life. I, we have a foster daughter who's in college down in North Carolina. She's, she's a senior in college now. It would be great if when she graduates next year, if she might be able to get a job, you know, uh, especially a job in her field of study. And I have two grandkids that are great. I'd like to see them grow up in a place where they could get a good education, a good public education, and where they could also live in a clean environment and all of those things environment education jobs health care that's the central core of Barack Obama's vision for America now I talked about how important voice is for an actor and finding the voice of your character I do a lot of animation that's purely voice but this campaign you are the voice you guys are the voice of this campaign. Wisconsin's been going through some real intense times for the last few years, politically. 
as far as elections go. People are not happy. People are on edge. People are angry. People are upset. And people are tired. Please, sit down. <laughs> they don't want to hear all this white noise coming off television and out of the radio all the time. But they will listen to you. Your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers. They'll listen to you because you live the same kind of lives that they do. So you're the people that need to get to them. They'll turn that television on, but they'll listen to you. They may not change their mind, you know. Most people have already made up their minds, but there's that really, really important independent group, and I know that you know a lot of those people. You may not be able to convince them, but if you can get them to think about it, if you get people to think about this, the odds are that they're going to vote for Barack Obama, because once they start comparing him to what Mitt Romney has to say, I don't think that there's any question. You get them to think. You get them to think, and you've got them. And the other thing is, and the thing that scares me the most, is getting people actually out to vote. And I'm talking about all those people that say that they're going to vote for Barack Obama, that believe that they're going to vote for Barack Obama. But when it comes right down to it, oh, he doesn't really need my vote. You know, politics is all local. Somebody pointed out to me the other day that, um, in, uh, uh, that when Al Gore won Wisconsin, it was by one vote in every ward. So that's the one vote you got to get. All you got to do is talk to them. They'll listen to you, believe me. So be the voice of this campaign, be the voice for Barack Obama. Thank you all.